goal is increased productivity, right? So I'm about to show you the exact system that you can use to plan your month, your week, and your day. This is the strategy that I've been using and it's changed everything, the way I work, how I manage my time, and it's helped me to avoid burnout. So grab your iPad and let's create a routine for planning out the month that will not only help you get organized, but also increase your productivity. And if we do this right, it should take less than 30 minutes. Let's get into it. All right, we're gonna keep this whole routine simple because simple means easy to stick to. Now, the first place that you wanna start with your planning routine is your calendar app of choice. I'm using Apple Calendar because I'm deep in the Apple ecosystem and Apple Calendar does everything I needed to do and it's accessible from all my devices. Now, your calendar app is where you're gonna keep track of what you have going on in real time. Anytime you make an appointment, you schedule an event or have an engagement that you commit to, anything that comes up, you wanna get in the habit of adding it to your calendar as soon as you make the plan and you find out the date and the time. That way, when you sit down to plan out your month in detail, you won't have to try to remember any engagements that you've already committed to. So before we plan out the upcoming month, let's review what happened in the previous month. Take a minute to write down any highlights or memorable moments that you've had, what went well and what didn't go so well or as planned and anything you learned from both. You can take a deep dive by reviewing any accomplishments you've had, the events that you attended, books that you've read. You can also review any current favorites that you've had for the month, like the foods or drinks that you couldn't get enough of, what shows had you in a chokehold and what were some of your non-negotiables for the month? They had to happen for you during your day or your week. Write all of this down. Treat this like a reflection journaling session. Even though I have all of my events and appointments on my calendar, I still sit down at the end of the month and complete a monthly overview for the upcoming month. If you're good with leaving everything in your calendar app, that's cool, but this helps me to focus on what I have going on for the next four or five weeks. It's just something about writing it down that helps what I have going on to stick. Start off by writing everything you already have scheduled from your calendar app, and then add in any other routines, events, or plans you have for the month. Now that we have a plan, let's set some goals and intentions for the month. Choose your big three. These are your top three priorities, your non-negotiables. Other things may get done in this month, but these three things are your main focus. They can be goals that you wanna accomplish, self-care activities that you wanna complete, or projects that you wanna finish. Once you have your top three priorities set for the month, now we're gonna set some goals. The goals can be part of your monthly routine, or they can be steps to help you accomplish one of your big three. So now we have a monthly overview, we've set our three priorities, priorities for the month and we've set some goals. This is a good time to create a running task list of what you know now that you need to get done during the current month. This task list will be helpful when you plan out your week or your day. Now when it comes to setting goals I get a little extra every month and take my goal setting to another level and create a monthly vision board. I use photos that motivate me to accomplish the goals that I've set. Now I have a visual representation of the goals that I've set to look back on. Now let's get into weekly planning. Every week you wanna pick a day to sit down and plan out your week. Sunday or Monday would work, but Tuesdays have been a day for me a few times. You just wanna set aside 15 or 20 minutes to create a weekly plan for yourself. This is where having that running task list comes in handy. Start by checking back with your monthly overview and writing down any appointments or events you have scheduled for the week. And then we can see where some of the tasks from our to-do list can be added in so we can start checking them off. Most importantly, make sure your weekly plan is realistic. Don't overwhelm yourself trying to get everything done in one week or one day. The best part about digital planning is how simple it is to move a task to another day or even another week. Every day doesn't call for a planning session, but some days are busier than others. This is when I like to use a task list for everything that needs to get done that day so I can make sure nothing is missed. Now, this list can be done by adding it to your daily template in your digital planner, or you can create a running task list in the Reminders app. This is where I like to keep my to-do list so I can quickly check things off as I get them done, and I can also have it on my home screen so it's quick and easy to access. And that's the whole planning routine. Life looks a lot better and more manageable now. I hope you find this planning routine as helpful as I have and if you have any questions make sure to leave them below. Also if you have any planning tips make sure to leave those in the comments too because sharing is caring. All right y'all till next time.